Now we're given that fg of x is equal to x squared plus 3 e to the power x squared and we're asked to solve this equation. The differential with respect to x of fg of x equals x times all of x e to the x squared plus 2. So to do this what I would first of all want to do is find out what the differential with respect to x of fg of x is. So let's start then with that. Let's just say now the differential with respect to x of fg of x. What does it equal apart from this thing here? Well we need to differentiate with respect to x then x squared plus 3e e to the x squared. And to do this, if we differentiate x squared in the normal way, we would get 2x. And to differentiate this term here, 3e e to the x squared, we've got to use the chain rule. We think of this as, say, t, and we would have the differential of 3e e to the t would be 3e e to the value t, but t was x squared and then we need to multiply this by the differential of what I nominated t to be. t was x squared, so if you differentiate x squared you would get 2x. So that is the differential of 3e e to the x squared. Now if you're unsure of that I will show you how to do this again by the chain rule uh, in a little bit more detail, okay, at the end of this tutorial. Okay, well We've got that far, assuming then you're okay with differentiating that. Let's just tidy this up. This gives us 2x then plus 6x e to the x squared. Okay, 3 times the 2x was the 6x. Now we're told that this is equal to this value here. So what we can say is that therefore 2x plus 6x e to the power x squared must be equal to this function here. Okay, So we we'll just write that in as x bracket x e to the x squared plus 2. What would I want to do next? Well I think what we'll do is we'll expand that bracket on the right here and if we do that we're going to get that this equals x squared e to the x squared plus 2x. And that's quite convenient because if we take 2x from both sides they're going to essentially cancel one another out, give us 0. I'd also want to subtract this term from both sides so we would therefore have 6x e to the power x squared minus then this term x squared e to the x squared equals 0. Now what I'd want to do now is to factorize this and we could pull out an x and e to the power x squared as a common factor so therefore we'd have x e to the power x squared as the common factor and we'd have a 6 for the first term here and for this second term we would just simply need minus x and that equals 0. So what we've got now is essentially three factors. x is one factor being multiplied by the second factor e to the x squared being multiplied by this third factor 6 minus x and equals 0. So that means that one or more of these three factors must equal 0. Well what could it be? Well we could have x equaling 0. Okay, So we could have therefore x equals 0. Now e to the x squared can never equal 0. Okay, If you remember the graph of e to the x squared, an exponential graph, it's going to be something like this. Let me just show you. If we have our x-axis and let's say y equaled e to the x squared, it'd be a graph that goes like this. OK, it goes up, passes through 1 on the y-axis, it can never be 0, it never crosses the x-axis. 
So essentially, e to the x squared can never equal zero. Okay, let's just take this out because I wouldn't have put that in anyway. Okay, I would have just left it as x equals zero, or we can have six minus x equals zero. Six minus x equals zero. And what does that lead on to? Well, x would clearly be six. So therefore, x would equal six. So we've got two answers. Let's just repeat this one here. x equals zero, or we have x equals six. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this tutorial. These are the two answers, but I did say earlier that if you have problems differentiating three e to the x squared, I'd go through that at the end of the tutorial. So let's just imagine then that you have got to differentiate y equals 3e to the x squared. Well, we use the chain rule. Chain rule is essentially this rule, that if you want to find dy by dx, it's the same as dy by d something. I'm going to call it dt. As long as you multiply it by that same d something, dt, okay, over dx. It's as if these dt's cancel and it just leaves you with dy over dx. That's the chain rule then, okay, and we use that here because what we do is we think of this y equals 3 e to the x squared as equaling as y equaling 3 e to the power t, where essentially t is equal to x squared. So when it comes to finding dy by dx, we do dy by dt first of all. So that's going to be the differential of 3e to the t with respect to t. That's just going to be 3e to the t. It stays the same, 3e to the t. But t is x squared. So we just write that in like that, put that in brackets. And now we've got to times it by dt dx. The differential of t with respect to x is going to be 2x. Okay, and that's how I got this result here, the chain rule. If you're still unfamiliar with the chain rule, just go on my website, you'll find plenty of tutorials on the chain rule. Okay, All right, well, hope that's helped you, and that brings us now to the end of the question.